Close your eyes and focus on your breath. <clears throat> watch it as it comes in, watch it as it goes out. Let the mind settle down. It doesn't have to go anywhere else right now. Just stay right here. When we do this, we're developing some good qualities in the mind. Mindfulness, which is remembering that we've made up our minds to stay with the breath. Alertness, watching to make sure that you really are staying with the breath. And then ardency, trying to do this well. So that if you notice you're beginning to leave the breath, you bring the mind right back. You notice if the breath is getting uncomfortable, you do what you can to make it comfortable. You want to make this a good place to stay. So you can develop further qualities, things like concentration, sense of well-being inside. That well-being is what the Buddha is referring to when he talks about merit. In English, when we speak about merit, it sounds like brownie badges, brownie points. But the Buddha said, acts of merit is another word for happiness. The things we do that are good are also the things that make us really happy. In a sense, that our happiness doesn't harm ourselves, doesn't harm anybody else. There are a lot of pleasures out there that are harmful, so it's good to know ways to find a sense of well-being in life that's harmless. You can do this through generosity. You can do this through observing the precepts. And you do it through meditation. These are the three main ways it's done. All the forms of goodness branch out from those. And the merit is something that is not only good for us, but it's good for the people around us. An old Brahmin once came to see the Buddha. He said, this, the merit that we do and we dedicate to our, our ancestors, do they receive it? And the Buddha says, if, they stay, if they're in an appropriate place, yes. Basically, an appropriate place would be among the hungry, hungry ghosts. But it also turns out if the devas tell them and they feel a sense of happiness over your merit, then that becomes their merit. In other words, they approve of what you're doing. That's a meritorious act on their part. That's how merit gets spread around. So after somebody's died, we realize the only way we can get in touch with them is through the currents of the mind. And so by doing merit or doing meritorious things, we create a good mind that's going to be sending out good currents. So when you think of those who have passed away, also think of something good that you've done in terms of ways you've been generous, ways you've been virtuous, the ways you've meditated and developed a sense of well-being in the mind. And that'll be, become the source of a good current for them, something they'll be happy to receive. If all you send is sorrow and regret, it becomes a sad current for them. They may resist it. So try to send them something good. And as the Brahmin asked the Buddha, what if there's nobody among those who can receive their merit? The Buddha says, well, that becomes more of your own merit. It comes right back to you, the good merit you've done. So it never gets lost. All the goodness we do never gets lost. You have to remember that. Sometimes it seems to disappear for a while, but then it comes up again. It will return. Just keep doing it as much as you can. Make sure the source is good and the results are bound to be good. <clears throat>